Hey, this is B from Kongs of Rust, and thank you all for watching my tutorial on how to set up A1 Pinner version 3.9 from Mystery Encoder and Team. It's been a great video, and I'm happy so many people have been able to get version 3.9 up and running on their pinball machines. But one of the biggest questions I've gotten is how do I make my machine stock? Maybe something went wrong, or you just want to change it back to your original Star Wars, Marvel, or Williams pinball tables. So you can do so using some of the tools in the 3.9 uh, setup system, as well as using the original arcade one up tools to flash your PCB back to 100% stock. Now, I've done this several times with my PCB. I've made it stock, tried the next version of the mod. So, this is 100% fail proof unless you do something else wrong. So, don't worry about breaking your PCB. You can always make it back to stock based on the software mod. So, let's get into it and see what you need to get started. Right now, you can see that this is running Pinball Arcade. So, this is version 3.9. Uh, let's go ahead and get started by going to the website of arcade1up.com to grab some of the tools you're going to need. So first off, head on to the support section, click on software updates, then click on attack from Mars pinball update, which was back in September of last year. Here, you're going to download a couple of different files. First is the Phoenix Pro flash tool, which you can download onto your desktop. Just takes a few minutes to download there. And there's the firmware update for Attack from Mars here. If you want to go back to Attack from Mars, you can grab this here. But the other two tables uh, per Marvel and Star Wars, you actually need to grab them from a different place. So uh, Team Encoder's website, if you go to team-encoder.com, head on over to the Pinner website section, go to the version 3.9. You'll see all the files you need for 3.9. But what you really need uh, is in this particular mega download, the APKs, which you originally used to flash it to version 3.9. Nine. There's some different files. If you click on that link, it takes you to this mega section. There's these .zip files, which has the disk image files you'll need to reflash your PCB. So for Marvel, it's mvp.zip. For Star Wars, it's hwp.zip. For Williams, Attack from Mars, it's wms.zip. So just go ahead and double or click on these three dots and then go to download and start download. Just a standard download and it'll just download to your desktop whenever you're done and finished. Now, once you're done, you'll have these files onto your desktop. So let's go ahead and get ready uh, to get our um, pinball machine prepped and ready. And then we'll head back to our desktop to finish the change back to stock. All right, to get our pinball table ready, uh, you're going to shut down and power down your PCB for your, whatever table you're using. And then whether you're reaching from behind or opening it from the front, I just like easy access when I do my pinball mod. So I just access it from the front. You're going to reach in and grab your PCB and flip the flash mode to the off position. So the same steps you would do for flashing it. You also have to do that and turn it to flash mode. Uh, it is recommended to power off your machine while you do that. I've been doing it dangerously, but it still works. So that's how I get that ready. Then you got your USB cable, your micro USB cable plugged into your PCB and then plug that into your computer. And now let's head back to the computer and finish the rest of the flash. All right, we're back in front of our PC now, and you can go ahead and plug in the USB cable from the pinball machine to your PC, but don't flip that power switch yet. What we need to do first is uninstall the drivers using the tools inside version 3.9 files. So let's go ahead and do that first. We're going to go to A1 Pinner version 3.9. This is the latest version of Pinner that's available on uh, Team Encoder's website. Under this fixes folder, double click here, and you'll see something that says remove drivers.bat. Now this is going to remove the drivers that were used to install this in the first place. So it'll show, run this PowerShell strip, script. You just hit the, hit the Y button, hit enter. It's finding drivers. It's going to delete everything, finish uh, to deleting drivers, yes. Then it's going to ask, would you like to try and install the Phoenix driver back? Hit the Y button one more time, hit yes. It'll just go ahead and complete that. And then you will hit enter to exit. So that's pretty much it. Um, once you are done, it'll close up. And then our PCB should be ready uh, to use the stock Phoenix tool um, software. So we're going to close that. Now let's go ahead and grab the two downloads that we grabbed. So this is the Phoenix USB Pro software from the rk one up website. And when you open this up, it's an installation file that you're going to have to download and install this program onto your desktop or your program files, wherever. Uh, once you go ahead and install that, it should add a nice uh, shortcut onto your menu right there. So that's a shortcut to open it up. And then the last thing we need is that image file to be able to um, 
uh, flash your PCB back to whatever image. So the Star Wars WSP.zip file, this is a zip file. So if we just go ahead and double click on this, it should open up and you should see the files there. You could also extract this using 7-zip or WinRAR, whatever extraction tool you want. And you'll see two files, the disk image file and a text document. So I need this disk image file and I'm just gonna drag this to my desktop and this should just copy over directly onto my desktop. Shouldn't take too long, but these image files are different than the APKs. Do not try to install the APKs using a Phoenix flash tool, it won't even register and look for it. So here it is. Now we have the image of our original file on our desktop and then the Phoenix Pro tool. So let's go ahead and double click the Phoenix Pro software and it's gonna pull up this particular user interface. Uh, it's really clunky, but it is what you need to flash it back to stock. So uh, let's go ahead and now click on this image uh, icon here and we're gonna select that image on our desktop that we extracted. So uh, navigate to our desktop um, and we should see that Zen Pinball WSP release 1920 by 1080p uh, image. So just go ahead and click on that, click open, and you'll see the di directory of that image file here. Now we're going to click on the start button, and then this X is going to change to a check mark. So that check mark means that it's now ready to um, uh, plug in your USB cable. And at this point in time, this is when we're going to flip the power switch on our, our machine. So if you can see here, I have my power. I'm going to flip the switch when the USB is plugged in, and you will see that green check mark change to an X. So now it's into an X, uh, and then we hear the chime sign, and it should automatically detect the PCB. It should start to show up on one of these devices here, and it will begin the flashing process. So uh, there you see it. It's green now, and it should be uh, uploading that process. So it's under device one. It says down, download, and the progress is at 34%. Uh, you have that green checkbox now, and this is now automatically doing this thing. This is what you need to do and just let this process finish for about 30 seconds to a minute, maybe two minutes at max. And uh, once it gets to 100%, uh, our pinball machine will be 100% back to stock. Now this pretty much reflashes and erases all the tables you uploaded. This will be 100% stock. Uh, if you went back and did the mod again, you'd have to re-upload all the different APKs, all the tables, everything. This completely wipes the PCB using this image back to its original uh, form. So let's go ahead and let this finish. All right, everything just finished. It says 100%, has some funky characters there, but don't worry, everything should be good now. Go ahead and click on the stop button at the top, and then we can actually close this entire menu. You don't need this anymore. And then we're gonna flip off this off switch on our uh, pinball machine, and then switch the flash mode. So close this out, go ahead and power off your pinball machine, unplug the USB from your computer, and let's head back to our pinball machine and flip it back to the mode and turn it on. All right, so we're back at our pinball machine. And what we need to do is go back inside and flip the switch on the PCB back to on. And once that is done, we can go ahead and test to make sure everything is working. So we're gonna flip the power switch on. And the first time this boots up, it does take a little bit longer of a boot cycle for it to reflash its image and go back to stock. Um, so don't worry, let the, the pinball machine boot up, do its thing. You should see kind of this circular um, kind of icon spinning for a little bit. So let go ahead and let that run and we'll go ahead and get this started and, and let it run. And it should boot straight up into the RK one up Star Wars image that we did. So what are some of the reasons why you might want to go back to stock? It really depends. Maybe something went wrong on your installation for Pinner and you just want to go back to stock to restart the whole process over again. Um, say you are selling this and you want to just make it stock as possible. That's another option. But for the most part, you should be able to upgrade to version 3.9 or future ones for wherever state you are. But this is a nice handy tool in case you wanted to go back to the stock image and just play your original tables. In fact, if you wanted to take this from the Star Wars one and change it to a stock Marvel tables, you could probably use this same process as well and just use the Marvel APK or the Williams APK and run those tables one at a time and not use the pinner mod. So this Phoenix tool is available for you to do that. And again, once you put it in here for the first time, it'll just reboot up and take a little while for it to activate and get started. All right, so it just popped up with the RK one up logo there. You can see the DMD is back to the original Zen RK table. Oh, and there goes me getting demonetized if I have a video on here. So the volume stock is super loud. And uh, there's our RK one up pinball. Uh, you want to keep whatever language you want. Press the launcher button. And this is now pretty much back to the stock 720p 
uh, play field that you are in love with or hate, all the stock tables are there. This is going to wipe any high scores that you have. This puts it 100% back to the original stock factory image. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Now you have a way to get back to stock and you can restart the process if you messed up with Pinner somehow and you want to start over. This is how you get back to stock. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If there's something else you want to see, let me know in the comments below. If this is your first time checking it out, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Team Encoder and Mystery Encoder for doing the great work you do. See you later.